I started Zenit Bank with 20 million naira in 1990. That is about five million dollars at a same rate of four naira to the dollar. There about back now, then, very back different then. now. <laughs> at the same time, 20 years later, Zenit Bank shareholders funds was four billion U.S. dollars. From four million dollars to four billion U.S. dollars, you can do the math. It will give you some thousands percentage return. Okay, so what's the secret? And For the young people watching who want to know how to make it like exactly, you made it, what's the secret? They should remain focused, they should remain determined. This kind of numbers, this kind of return, you don't get it even in God's own country, America. You don't get it in Europe, you don't get it in Russia. You can get them in Nigeria. There must have been challenges along the way, share that with us. Yeah, definitely. You will always experience adversity, challenges, in any business initiatives either it's in Europe or it's in America. There they has to be those. But those are the areas where many people really give up. Just don't give up in Nigeria. Don't give up. What we're doing at that point in time, we will build our own roads to our branches. If we're building branches in some cities, towns, where the roads are not good enough. We have also bought power plants, generating sets, to power electricity into our building. When we do all this, we also even had dug borehole to supply water to the building. Mm -hmm. When we do all this, what I personally call it is BYOI, bring your own infrastructure, <laughs> or build your own infrastructure. So that where challenges, anyone will agree, anyone that ever ran a business in Nigeria, we know that. So onto another issue that a lot of banks in Nigeria have dealt with during the recession is that of non-performing loans. Where, where is Zenith Bank on that? How are you reducing non-performing non loans? All banks in the world have non-performing loans. But specifically during the recession in Nigeria, it got quite dicey for a lot of banks. No, during the recession in Nigeria, just like any other economy, there will be a slowdown in repayment of those loans. Not that those loans are terribly bad or those loans are completely written off are lost. Businesses just slow down. So repayment programs also equally slow down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they just slow down. You schedule those loans instead of five years, it becomes seven years or eight years. But they are not terribly bad that they are written off. They are not lost. There are different classifications of loans mm -hmm. in banking boot. I would say most loans in Nigeria may have been substandard, but not necessarily lost. As the economy beginning to improve, yeah. repayment will continue to be released. So then, have you at least, even if they're not lost, have you at least used this time, this period of recovery, to reevaluate how you assess whether or not a borrower is likely to repay? Oh, definitely. You will always know. You always continue to assess. You will always do that, whether there's economic recession or economic boom. You do that consistently and constantly at all times. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. How difficult is it for a young, budding entrepreneur to walk into Zenith Bank and get a loan? The individual must meet what we call risk acceptance criteria. When he doesn't meet such criteria, he'll get a loan. But if he doesn't qualify, doesn't meet it, whether he's young, whether he's old, he could be 50 years old, 60 years old, if he does not meet the risk acceptance criteria, he's not going to get a loan. And it's even more likely that a young 30-year-old or 24-year-old that had made the risk acceptance criteria in terms of one, the viability of the project. The project must be viable. Mm -hmm. And two, in terms of the return on the project. And finally, in terms of the character. Character is a major reason why we learn or don't. The character of the individual, which means in terms of KYC, you have to know who the individual is. But more importantly, the viability of the project, viability of the loan as well as the return on assets. That's also what is critical for us. 